Hey everybody, welcome back. Movie review geek out time. Mary's here. I know. Um, this is our no spoilers uh, solo, a Star Wars story. Just geek out. It's a Star Wars movie. You guys know want to hear what I have to say about it, right? Cool. No spoilers. If we say a spoiler, I'll cut it out. You'll be totally fine. Mm -hmm. Shooting on a different phone. That's why we're in the car again. Um, at least we're lit. Hopefully it sounds okay. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. I'll learn. But uh, there you go. So if you want a spoiler review, there's a link in the description below. We're going to do that too. Mm -hmm. It's be shorter than usual, but okay. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> it better be because it's hot in here and I can't turn on the AC. Getting hot. And so take off all your clothes. Um, so, <laughs> all right. So, loved it. Um, going in expectation wise, that's important to say. I'm like everybody else. I'm like I don't know a Han Solo sequel. Heard all the turmoil behind the scenes, all that stuff. So, and even the trailers looked good, but they didn't mm -hmm. quite you know totally do it for me the way like a lot of the other Star Wars stuff does. Mm -hmm. But um, you're still crying. Yeah, I was totally, I had some total nerd tears going on. There's some great reveals, some great little tie-ins. It's just, it's a really fun movie. And my very immediate thought after seeing it is... I liked it so much better than Rogue One. Yeah, well, she definitely did. Um, I think I might too, I don't know, but I really loved Rogue One. But my immediate, that was not my immediate feeling. My immediate <laughs> feeling was, I want to either go watch this again or bring on part two. I get what they're saying now about possible sequels. I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. I'll, take so. I'll take them. I'll take them. Everybody worked. Or, you know, maybe I can even do like a TV series, like HBO, 10 episodes, something or other. Yeah, you know? we took a little walk and that's what she was saying, but... I'd rather just get big movies for my own personal taste, mm -hmm. uh, just big chunks. But yeah, of course, Lando was great. Uh, Chewie was great. All the other characters were great. Um, some great twists and turns. Mm -hmm. Paul Bettany is maybe for me the weaker part, but she liked him more than I, I really did. I really liked him. He was still really good. And uh, some great little cameos, mm -hmm. some really awesome surprises. Um, is that the guy? No, that's a okay. different guy. Never mind. I had a, a, a dude, annoying dude, sitting beside me. I thought he was just walking by. Anyways, uh, but <laughs> but yeah, and, and the thing I really want to oh, point squirrel. out, yeah, <laughs> the thing I it's your, usually your job. The thing I really want to point out is Alden Einreich mm -hmm. was actually really great. He totally he had the vibe of Han, and like we said, like he had some of his, his um, mannerisms. mannerisms and like he had the point down and all that stuff. The blaster stance. Yeah, and I think really they just showed like the weakest. Um, versions, oh, it's so fuzzy because it's so dark, I think. The weakest versions of, um, oh. Is that better? It is, it focused. The <laughs> weakest versions of his performance in the trailers. It, That's what I think. Quite possibly. You know, they barely showed any of it, like they were afraid of his performance, but in the movie it worked and it didn't really take me any time to get into it. I was mm -hmm. just like, it starts with a bang, you're in there, it's really good. The music's really good. Yeah, you don't really get a break in that movie. No, it, it's it's really fast paced, and um, they've done a really good job. Uh, the trailers of not really showing you as much as you think they're showing you. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure, if you get into all the little TV trailers and the clips here and there, you're gonna find spoilers. You know, more than you want to see. God, I've had to stop watching TV trailers for things. Yeah, me too. They show way too much in TV trailers. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I really enjoyed it. Uh, pretty good theater crowd. It wasn't totally full, but I think I, I want. We're wondering if this one might end up having legs, like. So people were so worried about this one, mm -hmm. but now like maybe, you know, people are going to hear, hey, you know what? It's actually pretty good. Go see it because yeah. it is. And I'm not trying to say it's the best Star Wars movie ever or anything, but I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm going to have to give some thought to where I put it in my ranking, but it's up there. Mm. It's definitely better than episode one or two. Um, <laughs> I can at least say that. Pretty sure I liked it more than episode three. Um, but, you know, then, then I just have to think about it. If I rank it here, I'm going to change my mind later. Because right now, I'm wanting to say it's my favorite Star Wars movie. I know that's not the case. I know, I know that's not... Maybe, maybe I still like Last Jedi more. And by the way, if you don't like Star Wars, that's fine. But go somewhere else and talk about it. This is for people that love Star Wars and want to talk about it. Yeah. If you didn't like the movie, that's fine. I'm, you know what I'm talking about. You know the people I'm talking about. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think I mostly covered my no-spoiler thoughts. What you got? Uh, can we move the spoilers? <laughs> you have nothing else to say? Um, I went in with moderate expectations, and I was thoroughly entertained the entire time. And let's see, no, that's a spoiler. No, that's a spoiler. So comment so. below. Uh, <laughs> it, no, no spoilers on this video, please. If you want to talk spoilers, jump to the spoiler video. Comment below, though. Are you excited? Were you pleasantly surprised? You can probably at least give us your, like we did, your basic opinions without spoiling it for others if you'd like here. Um, and are you going to tell your friends to go see it? Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see it again tomorrow in 2D IMAX. She's coming with me. Yep. She liked it enough to go see it again. <laughs> that is one thing I will point out. Um, the 3D 
it's actually like, it's not really necessary. There was nothing really 3D about this. They didn't really do much with it, is what I'm saying. Yeah, which is kind of odd because usually when you're dealing with space. Yeah. Yeah, and like a lot of the other Star Wars movies, love them or hate them, the 3D has been fantastic in them. Yeah. And so that's really my only disappointment with this movie. Um, but yeah, and, and then just a couple fanboy things, like things I would have liked to have had happen that wasn't what was the case, but that's super nitpicky, and we'll probably mm -hmm. talk about that in spoilers. So yeah. comment away, click that thumbs up button, give us that good old thumb of encouragement, as we do love to be encouraged. And I guess we're going to get out of here, we're going to go talk some spoilers. We'll see you all later. Later.